back on film, what has been the major problem with stopping the run? Just guys coming out of the gaps, not filling the right gaps. Um, that was one of the linebackers' biggest issues. Uh, you know, all of that stuff plays in, plays a big part in those guys making big runs. What did that win do for you guys confidence-wise after coming off that tough weekend in Kentucky? Um, it was big. It definitely uh, it just helped us remember just like who we were and our, our goals as, you know, a program, as, you know, our, our unit, just how we feel about each other. And it just helped us, rem it just reminded us really just what we were trying to do and what we were trying to accomplish. It's been the adjustment on those three half times. Um, you know, the coaches come in and do their uh, adjustments with the scheme and what they want to call and things. And then, uh, you know, guys just realize that we, we, we build off a win in the fourth quarter, second half, and just win in the fourth quarter. And that's, uh, I mean, we talked about that in our, our off-season program, winning the four, fourth quarter. So, Has it been one open? Let's consider yourself a bend but don't break defense? Yeah, definitely. What, what comes into that? I guess why, why that mentality instead of like maybe shutouts every game? Um, you know, we don't. The guys that we play are good. We play good teams. Um, you're not gonna shut them out every time. They're gonna make some plays. We're gonna make some plays. Um, but you can't let one touchdown and one field goal affect the outcome of a game. So you have to keep playing the whole game, regardless of what's going on. To kind of stiff it in the red zone, the way you guys have, how much of a point of pride is that? Oh, it's big. Um, that's just something that you know that's been here with the program since uh, Coach Muschamp has been here, but. You know, that's where you stiffen up and you bow your neck and you get ready to make a stop. Um, hold them to a field goal. That's a win for the defense or for the team, really. But, you know, you just you don't want anybody to get in your end zone. So, uh, Anthony. Um, and so now after the Missouri game, you're still talking about how upset were the coaches that, 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 that still uh, remained a problem. Well, we came out with the win at the end of the day. So, uh, that's I mean, that's always a plus. But, you know, that thing is the, the filling the gaps part just comes down to, you know, taking more time outside of the building and under just, you know, understanding what you have to do. Um, you know, you're not, there's never a perfect football game either. So there's going to be some misfits and things. But, you know, the coaches just want everyone to understand that it takes more than just coming up here, going through meetings and uh, – Listening to their coaching, like you have to do more stuff outside of the building. What's the in there? What's been? Is it a fundamental thing? Uh, yeah, just it's just a little thing, you know, just wrapping up, just really bringing our feet, you know, just finishing, just finishing plays, you know, doing, making sure everybody doing their assignments right. All the assignments are good, it's just like you said, fundamental stuff. I think the last three second halves you guys have played, you've only given up 12 points. What's been the secret about playing such good second half team? We just game plan. We come in, we talk about, it. we come in and we talk about it, you know, at halftime. And we just make the right adjustments. Just we come together as a team. We talk about what we need to do, and the leaders say what they gotta say. And we just go out there and execute. Texas A&M to this year, yeah. last year, this year. Last year's and um, this year's. I mean, really not much different. You know, they still got, except besides uh, Kristen Kerr, you know, but they have a very explosive back. I see they. they I, I feel like they're probably in the run game more. They have really good running back, and uh, Kelly Lamar probably runs it a little bit more than he did last year. Out of the lineup with injuries and everything, do you feel like you're coming into form now? Oh yes, sir. That's yes, most definitely, you know. It's just getting the adjustment. The adjustment was kind of different, but you know everything's coming out smooth. You know us holding each other accountable, and make sure we know each other's assignments, uh, we, uh, game plan up to the game. It's just it's all coming together. What's been the key to this red zone defense this year? You think? Execution, execution, and being disciplined, doing our assignments, line up and doing our assignments. You know, see, we always preach red zones. We got to win the red zone battle. If we win the red zone battle, we know we can win the game. You said what's been the key? Just doing our just doing our assignments, just making sure everybody, make sure everybody know what they're doing, and just executing. We watch a lot of third down tape even before the game. Like I mean, the day before the game, like we have a third down tape. We go and watch, you know, and we just look at the play, different route concepts that they run, and different stuff like plays that they run, and we just execute it, recognize them, just make the play.